Here I have Google Earth Pro open on the computer with specific interest in discussing the, the historical imagery feature and how using it can help you become more thorough in your knowledge of the, the overall features and layout of the area you're fishing. So this is the view menu. When you click on view and you scroll down about three-fourths of the way you see the historical imagery feature. By checking this box you'll see that it opens a toggle bar which basically represents time with the current time being at the far right end of the bar and the past moving to the left. So by left clicking on this little icon here on the right end of the bar you can move back in time essentially by going left and see older images of the spot you're looking at. So with the historical imagery feature activated I can see the current image of this particular stretch of shoreline and here I would note their location of a, a small gap which gives the water access from this shallow tide flat to the actual main part of the Laguna Madre here. As you go back in time it's interesting to see that the location of that gap and the amount of water which would be able to flow in and out of it vary greatly. So here in 2020 it appears to be closed up entirely. 2017 gap appears to be slightly located differently. Perhaps maybe there are two of them that have developed. One of which with a large grass mat in front of it. 2014 image shows that the gap appears to be wider with more potential flow passing back and forth between the Tide Lake and the Laguna Madre. All of this is going to affect where the sweet spots are in a given year at a given time because the sweet spots along these shorelines are going to be related not only to where the water is flowing back and forth between the Tide Flat and the Laguna Madre but also the positions of the grass beds related to those areas. So historical imagery allows a person to consistently and, and repeatedly re-identify where the sweet spots in a proven stretch of shoreline are likely to be. This can also be done on the water by the way but and using on the water as a backup is, is certainly important but this is a much faster way to keep track of it over time. You can view this on Google Earth and then go out and back up the observations you made on the computer with what you see on the water when you get there.